That was a very sudden way to cut things off. Hello. Good morning. I'm sorry. Um, I got a new cable for my Elgato. So, that being said, I really hope it works and doesn't give me issues anymore because it's frustrating me. <laughs> Good morning. Hello. Let me move this over here. Hello for the second time. Um, I have coffee. I have crackers. Hi, Jake. Thank you so much for the host. Since my bot won't tell you, I'll say it. Good morning. Hello. How are you? How you doing? I hope that the new cable works. If it doesn't, I'm probably just gonna switch to a read stream. And I'm just gonna do that for the rest. Thank you. I'll show you my shirt. I got it in New York City at the big M&M store. And it is rec it's a recreation of the Scream, the famous Scream painting. And it's orange m and M being the Scream painting. I got it in New York City. How you doing, Jake? Long time no see. Let's, uh... I decided that I really like Pokemon music, um, especially in Hoenn. I'm glad you uh, came by to say what's up anyway. But, um, so we're just gonna listen to po the game music. I hope that's cool. And I hope you guys can hear it. Let me know if you cannot. But. Oh, look! It's Steven Stone. Hello, Steven. Edward Munch, yeah. So let me know if you can't hear the game music, but I have been in, so it's been weird. So I've been rebitten by the reading bug. I've read like three entire books over the last week, which is insane for me because, I mean, I used to do that all the time as like a kid and a middle schooler, but it's been a long time since I've been able to, since I've read that much and it felt good. So now I'm like bitten. <clears throat> yeah, I hear you that there. Okay, you can hear it, and yes, the best way to start any day is Stephen Stone. Um, but so I read, I've been reading, so I got bit by the reading bug again, and then I've been rebitten by my love of Pokemon music, and I have been listening to Pokemon music non-stop, just like game music, not even like... What happened? just happened it's like my 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 gamecube went bleep. uh yeah there's gonna be a lot of water in this episode so anyway morning cabbage by the way so um i've been listening to pokemon game music like in the car while i've been reading doing chores around the house so if you don't mind i think i'd just like to enjoy the music that is in this game the cabbage broke the game. No, I don't think so. But we can look at Steven Stone again. Hello again, Steven. It's okay. I really hope my GameCube isn't dying. That will break my heart. I've had this GameCube since... Oh, goodness. 2002? When did the GameCube come out? I don't know. Yeah, the Elgato seems to be doing good, right? I got that new Elgato cable. I am going to, first things first, I'm going to fly us to the trick house and see if there's a trick house for us to solve. <clears throat> I'm really hoping that this is all I needed to do for um, Elgato was get that new cable. I'm really hoping it doesn't goof go goofy in the middle of it. 2000... Oh, Okay, I think I got my GameCube. I got my GameCube for Christmas. I don't remember if that was Christmas 2001 or Christmas 2002, but I do remember I cried that Christmas because I got that GameCube. <clears throat> the first game that I owned for my GameCube was SpongeBob SquarePants Bat Whoops Battle for Bikini Bottom. That was the first GameCube game I owned. I do love Goofy. Yuck. Check the map, goof. 
You're being watched. Hello, Cabbage. How are you today? Tell me about your life. How's your week going? Happy Friday to you. How'd you know I concealed myself in this cupboard? I'm smart. The first game you owned was Luigi's Mansion. Fun fact, quick fact. I've never played Luigi's Mansion. I know. Don't be too disappointed in me. Cell Damage was a game and a half for GameCube. I don't know what you're talking about. Is Cell Damage the name of a game? That's why you're here. Yes, it is. Consider your challenge accepted. Enter through the scroll there. Let your challenge commence. You've never played Luigi's Mansion? I my we I have Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Well, technically, it's Sarah's game. And she played it, and she really liked Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. But neither of us, I don't think, have played the original Luigi's Mansion. You're not surprised? Why? Because I'm a disappointment to you in every way? Yeah, I know. There's a big hole behind the scroll. That was a weird Mickey voice. Oh, okay. Alright, okay, I can do this. I don't actually remember this puzzle. I mean, obviously I know it's like Winona's gym puzzle, but... That's the reason why, yeah. Okay, cool. As long as I know. Hmm. That was probably dumb. Hmm. I want to get all the things. Cell Damage was an eccentric game not to be taken seriously. Oh, okay. Hi! Hi, Shannon! How are you? Good morning. I hope you're doing well. Long time no see. How's your week going? Happy Friday to you. Maybe I could get my bird Pokemon to fly over the wall. Maybe you could. Okay, cool. I'm still higher leveled. Hyper Beam! Now I'm just gonna do a return. I have one of these things, which is actually one of my mom's things, but they're really good. Skinny Cow Heavenly Crisp Chocolatey. It's like a super fancy big Kit Kat. It's real delicious. I'm gonna eat that after I eat my crackers because it's. I, di I didn't want to be starving by the time lunchtime came around. Will V change Pokemon? No. I'm trying to figure out if return is stronger at this point for me than strength is. And I think it is, just because of the friendship level. A wicked game of patty cake. <laughs> He's petting you aggressively. That sounds creepy and wrong. I like Paper Mario a whole lot, and I know a lot about that series, but I'm not big into platformers, as you know, so a lot of the platformer games I just never got into, and I don't think I, w I wouldn't consider Luigi's Mansion a platformer, but yeah.
Oh yeah, when I accidentally used both of my rare candies on L is the best. I think this is up to the... Yeah. I'm not ready to go here yet. Alright, let me go here. I got this new coffee, these new K-Cups. They're by Folgers. <clears throat> and they're vanilla biscotti. And they're delicious. <laughs> so what's up? What's new in everybody's lives? Any big events? or news, or whatever. How was everybody doing good? Same, I hope I get mistake, mistaken for terror all the time. It's the best compliment. Hey, you're almost as cool as that Dr. Terror House of Horror guy. Yes, I am almost, but I can't be a hundred percent. We just love our buddy Terror. That's all. Roselia. A Pokemon I didn't used to like and grew on me. And I think uh, Roserade helped with that, but... What do I want to do? Shadow Ball. Oh. Oh, no. Too bad I don't have Dream Eater. Somebody has to, Terra isn't going to. Somebody has to what? Terror isn't going to what? Mistake me for you? No new, no new news other than I realized that my birthday is 91 days away and 91 was my birth year. <laughs> Does the Illuminati exist? You're sounding like Garrett right now. <laughs> Illuminati confirmed. When she does plant wordplay. Oh, grew on you. <laughs> Badu is fine. It's just the baby version. I'm not crazy about a bunch of baby Pokemon. Like, I just feel like they're cute, but they don't really serve like a purpose <laughs> other than just being cute little baby versions. Um, so I'm not a huge fan of a lot of baby Pokemon. What do I want to do here? Let me see if I got a berry. Yay. I've got a bajillion Pichu Berries. Neither am I actually. Take it like a champ, Spoopy. You think baby Pokemon are kind of a waste? I don't know if I'd consider them a waste. However, I don't think that they serve a purpose, really, other than just being cute. You know? <sighs> What's my favorite baby poke? I don't know. <laughs> I didn't mean to comma. Um, Munchlax is eh. Elikid, eh. I'm trying to think. What are all the baby Pokemon? I'll try to pick my favorite. I just don't, I can't think of all of them off the top of my head. I think if I had to pick a baby poke, it would be... Don't at me, okay? But smooch him. <laughs> I was actually just talking about this the other day, yesterday, with Rob. But I don't. I like smooch him, and I like Jinx, um, and I know I'm kind of in the minority for those. But I think the Ice Psychic is a cool typing. Um, 
And I think Smoochum is kind of cute. <laughs> so Smoochum is probably my vote for for favorite baby Pokemon. Least favorite baby Pokemon is Tyrogue because it creeps me out. It's like a skinny buff baby. Creepy. I don't get why they're like <laughs> nah, fam. I don't get why there are ten ran like ten random babies. I don't know. I don't know. Cacturn. That's a Pokemon that I kind of like. If I'm honest, let's fake out and hope. Does C can Cacturn have points of point? Ooh, crit. I just want a Kangaskhan baby Pokemon that actually makes sense to me. It would, but like. You know? I like Cacturn's hat. If the, um, if the, the picture at any point goes wonky, please let me know. But I'm hoping that I have resolved the issue just by switching out the cable. Ask yourself the same question. Full restore? Why the heck you full restoring? Why Kanga baby Pokemon? Why does everyone else randomly get a baby poke? I don't know. Again, I mean, I don't disagree with you, but I just feel like, why add another baby poke to the roster of baby pokes that we don't need? Maybe they literally just took all the Pokemon. Oh my gosh, if this Cacturn... What if they literally just took all the Pokes? Maze Rival? In the anime? Isn't that Drew? Did Drew have a Cacturn? Um, I'm gonna switch out because I don't want Spoopy to die. Not like this is a... It's just taking forever. Um, but... Uh... My original thought, what if they just took like all the pokes and they put them like in a hat or something, they randomly pulled them and they said, okay, this Pokemon gets a baby, this Pokemon gets a baby, and this Pokemon gets a baby, and everybody gets, it's like a Oprah thing, you know, maybe they just oprah everything, I don't know, I don't know. I kept getting distracted by my own thoughts. Pokemon Ranger Sebastian. Sebastian makes me think of, um, She's the Man. Great movie. Oh, Harley. I remember. Okay, I remember Drew and Harley. I didn't watch a lot of those episodes, but I did see a few of them. So I'm not completely inept. Yay! I think that's everything, right? I got everything in here. Trickmaster is my life. <laughs> Hi, Game Freak. My name is... I got this great idea for you. Oh. Just randomly select Pokemon and give them baby Pokemon. <laughs> I actually do have cards. I have business cards. Did you guys know that? I actually have business cards. They're kind of old and I need to get new ones. I made them when I graduated college, so that was... December of 20... <laughs> okay, hang on, I gotta do math. I took a year off between high school and college, so I didn't start college until fall of 2012. And I didn't... So, December of 2014. December of 2014 is when I had business cards made, and I don't... I didn't... I... I need to make new ones. You do? Does your say Dr. Baby House of Love? No, I hope not. We don't need to know about that? Yes, we do. Now we do. When you tease us like that. 
Does Cody's business card say? <laughs> Hi, I'm Cody. I know a lot about baseball. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, no, mine are acting business cards. Um, hey V, I was in Pacific Log just now. I saw this huge green Pokemon flying across the sky. I've never seen anything that amazing before. I wish you could have seen it, V. Click. Thank you, Brendan. Actually, kind of. <laughs> I hope that it says it just like that. Hi, I'm Cody. I know a lot of Tom Baseball. Is it related to baseball? See, I called it. Called it. I am sometimes intelligent. Yes, I would like to rest my Pokemans. <clears throat> Oh! Hello, Semi. Thank you so much for the host. Good morning to you. Happy Friday. Hope you're doing well. I'm sorry that my bot is not announcing things. I looked at my bot, and all the little toggle switches are on, but everything's grayed out underneath them, which confuses the heck out of me, and I literally just this morning updated Streamlabs chat box, so I don't know why it's like on but not working and it's all grayed out so I can't like change the wording I don't I don't get it and like all of my stuff is like connected so I don't know what am I doing now where is my Excuse me a moment, I need to find something. I will be right back. Oh, just kidding, it's right here. <laughs> oh, whoa, creepy. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna look and see. Baseball, music, beer, order of his loves. Does Cody, you've probably told me this before, does Cody play any instruments? I'm gonna see if there's anything I can backtrack and get. I'm gonna need to teach dive to something. I don't, oh, this is gonna be terrible because I don't wanna see for somebody like me who does not like playing with an HM slave, I hate that I have to Oh, already taught dive to Marcelo. Okay. And I may end up catching something for waterfall because literally the only reason that I would need waterfall is to get into... Oh, do I have to... I have to go through... Use present furniture. Oh, no! So it's your fault, Terror. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I have to use... Ah, oh, shoot. I do. Dang it. I'm not gonna wanna give surf, dive, and waterfall all to Mar Marcelo. That's just dumb. Well, I may have, I may catch something just to teach it waterfall so that I can get through um, Victory Road. He had a stint playing bass guitar, didn't keep up with it. The order of my loves is food, bed, Pokemon, Nancy Drew. <laughs> Acting. It's somewhere in there. <laughs> you, he, and my friend Drew being in a Skyrim stream many, many moons ago. You know what? You just keep on streaming, and don't you let your brother, with his all meme conversations, <laughs> deter you from something that you love doing and that you're really good at and that everybody enjoys. That is that was uh, lecture pep talks with me. Oh, I love reading too. Reading would be in top ten. I didn't drink my coffee fast enough and now I'm all, and now it's all cold. Okay, what am I doing? Okay, I already went through the Shoal Cave. <sighs> uh, 
Uh, I know I need to find my way to the seafloor cavern, but I also probably need to do... <sighs> yeah. I need to make my way to the seafloor cavern, but I also need to level up on the way. <laughs> Too much lecture, not enough pep. I'm sorry. It's early. It's only 10.15. Some days I'm still in bed at this point. Alright. Y'all ready for a lot of water? Because I'm... Oh, wait. Before I jump into the new routes... Literally nobody wants to match... Oh, okay, phew. I'm gonna match call some people. I hope that that's not boring for you guys. But I want to get... I'm just gonna... This is kind of gonna be a boring stream. I apologize. I don't really like doing training on stream. But I also really don't have time to like level up off stream and then still stream for you guys so I'm combining the two so we're just gonna chat while I match call a bunch of people <laughs> I just ruined streaming it's, oh that's what your business cards say Dr. Terror House of Horror ruined streamings but I don't agree with that at all <clears throat> okay so we're, I'm just gonna start at the top Tuber Lola Route 109 let's go I probably should do this by area um, instead of by list, so I might do that. But I apologize that this is mostly just going to be a bunch of training, but I hope you guys stick with it anyway. Tuber Lola, where are you at? I think you're down here. I think this is you. Nope. Lola? Okay, here we go. Yeah, def- Oh no! It just glitched! <laughs> oh no! Computer, why? Computer, why? It's definitely my computer then. It's definitely my computer then. It's not the wire. No. That got really loud. It's it's my computer. I need to get a new one, like ASAP. <clears throat> I'm waiting for it to reload. I'm just gonna battle <laughs> while it reloads. Dang it. Shoot. Oh my gosh, it's taking forever. <laughs> well, um, this is fun. <laughs> Computer, why? <sighs> I know that if I closed my bot... Yeah. <laughs> I know if I closed my bot, it would help. Come on, Elgato. Stick with me here. If I know if, if I were to close my bot, it would help. But then you guys wouldn't be earning your tickets and stuff. And that would be depressing. But I might do it anyway. Oh my goodness gracious, Elgato. Hang on. <laughs> I broke everything. Well, at least I didn't spend more than like four bucks on this cable. <laughs> I guess that's true. Should I turn off the bot then? I might do that. Alright friends, I'm closing my bot. And I'm- I, well, I wish my Elgato would come back. <laughs> That'd be super cool.
Okay. All right. Okay. Now, let me mute that for a second. If it helps turn it off. Bloop. Bloop. I broke everything. I broke everything. I broke. There we go. Cool. I'm ready for your side note. Okay, I turned my bot off. I apologize, friends, that you won't be getting your tickets and or watch time. You've been gone from giant grass island. Now you're, that you're back, no one has cut that grass at all. Yeah, I know, because I'm the only person who knows about the island. So if anybody cuts the grass, it's got to be me. Mommy. <laughs> Mommy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, well... I closed my bot, so hopefully that will help with the Elgato issues. I'm just sorry that you guys won't be getting all your fun stuff. Let's see if I've got any more match calls on this side of... Whoa, what the heck? Oh, I didn't know I could do that. 120, 123, 110. Okay, so I'm close to that. Another 110. Another 110. One twenty four jagged pass. One ten again. Okay, there's a lot of people up. Oh, thank you so much for the host summer. Good morning. How are oh, why does that keep doing that? Um Yeah, I've got a lot of people up on one ten. How you doing, Summer? Happy Friday. Alright, so I'm going north to one ten now. Tickets and watch time doesn't matter. Thank you. I just, you know. I think that, like, the currency and the watch time and everything are really cool features. And so, it's cool to be able to track it. Um, but, and I may have to solidify the fact, or I may have to, um, like... Be, learn to be okay with the fact that until I get a new laptop, which is hopefully very soon, I'm waiting on my next Twitch check, which is going to help me a lot. Um, <clears throat> that uh, I'll be able to bring you guys best quality streams. Okay, who am I looking for? I feel like I'm just. I should just talk to everyone. Well, I just closed my bot. <laughs> So that my stream would not lag so bad. But hello. Um, can I call you Sword? 42 minutes. I have been live for 42 minutes and 31 seconds. Um, but yes, hello. How are you? Uh, great to make your acquaintance. My name is V. I just closed my bot because my computer is struggling. Um, because I need a new one desperately. Um, so I'm sorry for that. Um, I don't have my bot open. Um, however, pleasure to make your acquaintance. Oh, I need to get that, don't I? Wade? Okay, I can call you Wade. Nice to meet you, Wade. My name's V. Um, I play a lot of Nintendo stuff, primarily. Um, and I also play some Nancy Drew mysteries and other, uh, and then I play a lot of indie games on Steam. I play, good morning, Summer. I, I do live reading occasionally. And what else do I do? I don't know. That's basically the primarily it. Have you caught any of Pokemon? Caught anything of Pokemon? Do you play WoW? Just one look, please. Just call me Wade. I like the lul emoji. Nintendo noise. Yeah, I do. Oh, I do a lot of Splatoon um, as well. I usually do Splatoon on Sundays, Sunday splats. However, this Sunday I do have to work. <laughs> Announcement time for everybody. I have to work this Sunday, so I won't be able to do Sunday splats. I act. I. Oh, yeah, I do. Oh, I need to move Spoopy because we leveled up. That's all? Dang, Spoop. I 
My coffee's so cold. Yes, I want to switch. Oh yeah, I do act, but that has nothing to do with my streaming. I froze reading your name. I couldn't figure out like, so it's Wade, Wade as word at? I don't know. I'm trying to figure out your username and I can't. You don't have to explain it to me. Wade is fine. This is besides the point. I like the, uh, we should just a little emoji <laughs> all up in my chat. <laughs> Pokemon, I envy you. Where the sword at? Where the sword at? Oh, okay. I got you. I, I think. Yeah, I got you. Makes perfect sense. <laughs> so, um, tell me about yourself. Uh, what are you into? Um, obviously Pokemon, hopefully, and that's why you're here. Um, if you are into Pokemon, what's your favorite game? Your favorite poke? Um, all that good stuff. I'm gonna throw a rappel up if I've got one because I don't want to. Yeah. I'm just trying to find the trainers that I can battle. The rest are all triathletes? Is that for reals? Okay. I'm here to see Pokemon faint. Hi, Zachary. This isn't a Nuzlocke. This is just a casual playthrough because I do love this game so much. Um, Nuzlocke will be coming at you. Uh, I got one planned for early summer. Oh, dang it. Um, and one planned for probably fall. So those will be my first Nuzlockes officially. Um, but other than that, <clears throat> it's uh, I I'm more of a casual player. Um, I've been playing Pokemon since I was six. Um, however, so I do know a lot about them, and I own every series, every main series game, and about two-thirds or three-fourths of the spin-offs. Um, not really into the Mystery Dungeon series, but that may change as I, uh, play some more, um, on stream. But, great to meet you. Uh, my name's V. Um, and the same thing for you, Zachary, uh, if you're into Pokemon, which I assume you are. Uh, what's your favorite game? What's your favorite Pokemon? Tell me a little bit about, a little bit about yourself. We can list lots of things that V does that aren't important to stream. Yes, welcome for joining to both Wade and Zachary. Pleasure to have ya. <clears throat> I'm just doing some really boring leveling up. Going through my match calls, all that jazz. This is gonna be terrible. Um, I'm hoping my sheer levels. Ooh, Arcanine is your favorite? Twins! Arcanine is my favorite poke. Twins, Zachary, twins. One planned for early me? Oh yeah, early summer. V listing off those statistics always reminds me of my own lacking Pokemon collection. <laughs> yeah, Arcanine is my favorite poke as well. So twins. That's awesome. I have a, a Arcanine decal on the back of my little Honda. Um, I have two decals on the back of my Honda for my two favorite um, series, which are Pokemon and the Nancy Drew Mystery series um, on for PC. So I have a Nancy silhouette, and then on the other side I have a little Arcanine decal. You're playing Heart Gold. It's been a while playing it. Your favorite's Fire Red because it's nostalgic. Okay, awesome. Good choices. Um, I think um, my favorite game is this one, Emerald, um, because Hoenn is my favorite uh, region. It holds a whole lot of nostalgia for me. Um, like I said, I do have every main series game, and I like every main series game. Sinnoh is kind of is at the bottom of the list, even though I still very much enjoy Sinnoh um, and those games. Um, but Hoenn is definitely at the top for me. Emerald is my favorite only because I in, really I enjoy the Battle Frontier, even though I'm really no good at it. Um, I enjoy the Battle Frontier. If the Battle Frontier is not um, a factor in deciding, then my favorite Pokemon games would be the remakes, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, because I thought that they were really good. Yes, this is Crobat. I have a Crobat on my team. I keep getting buzzes in it. Cause, okay, so let me tell you guys a story. Um, while I'm, since we're just talking, since this is boring stuff. My hand gets cut off if I try to. Anyway, um, <laughs> so my dad, about, I guess, 
almost close to a month ago, um, he installed a doorbell um, that has a camera on it. And you can also talk back and forth through the doorbell. It's real fancy. And um, we it connects to a phone app, and every time there's motion at your on your porch, it buzzes you like there's motion at your front door. And so I can open the app and literally see real time um, what's going you know what's going on. But it buzzes all the time if there's like a car that drives by or something like that because we live pretty close to the street. So that's kind of annoying. Um, but I scared the. Um, a few weeks ago, uh, the mail lady had dropped off a package onto the porch, and so when it buzzed, I opened my app and I saw her, so I used the little talk button and I was like, thank you, and the, lady, and the mail lady jumped like <laughs> three feet in the air. Pe Petra. More steel wing. Usually I just avoid people at my front door. <laughs> I have that too, it's called. <laughs> well, like, if we're not home, okay, so, and the reason, okay, so the reason my dad installed that is because around Christmas time, um, my neighborhood actually um, had been like people had been taking packages off the porch at Christmas time, which has never happened before in my neighborhood. And I think they ended up finding the people who were doing it. They were people actually that lived in my neighborhood, but they would go around daily to like homes you know and people are out at work or whatever they're not home and um they would take packages off the porch and so i think that's why my dad installed it because he was like ain't nobody taking packages off my porch all right i'm switching because this is terrible <laughs> these are the people I, I i think they caught him because it's you know anyway i think they caught him just for the ending of that story. I'm pretty sure they caught him. I don't, I don't know. It kind of reminds me of, these are the people of Walmart, if you've ever seen that video. Chicago to your edition. <laughs> yeah. This is terrible. I need to get better. I need to get good. This Magnemite is stalling as heck. Yeah, this is watermelon my shift tree. I should do a um I should do a a team a team rundown for Zachary and Wade. Oh. Can you tell me how to get how to get to Oh my goodness gracious. He's hitting me with the parafusion. I'm 11 flipping levels higher than it. All right, I'm just going to hit this thing with a <clears throat> with the uh, mud shot. Don't let me down, Marcelo. Thank you. This is really sad that these, um, triathletes are kicking my behind. I didn't panic, but I still lost. Where the heck did you get Ice Beam? I taught it. Like, I, I think I, I had it as, t as a TM, and I taught it to Marcelo. Yeah, I don't remember. Either that or I bought it. I, mean, I might have bought it. Oh, gosh. I might have bought it in Lily Cove. How do you guys make your team? Um, so, well, you can't have one of each time cause, type because there's 18 types. But I understand what you're saying. Yeah, I try to do a really well-rounded team. Um, so, here's my team. Um, breakdown. I've got Petra the Crobat um, with Toxic Confuse Ray Fly and Steel Wing. I've got Watermelon the Shiftry uh, with Cut, Fake Out, Faint Attack, and Giga Drain. I've got Marcella the Swampert with Dive, Ice Beam, Mud Shot, and Surf. I've got Decibel the Exploud with Return, Hyper Beam, Hyper Beam, Astonish, and Strength. I've got Spoopy the Sableye with Fake Out, Faint Attack, Shockwave, and Shadow Ball. And L is the best, the Agron with Rock Smash, Iron Tail, Dig, and Rock Tomb. All my Pokemon were named by my audience, um, so that explains why some of them are weird. <laughs> hey, Britt, how you doing? I think they caught them, and they went to my neighborhood. You're welcome, Terror. I always start with Fire Pokemon. Okay. Um, my... I have... Um, uh, I need you. Hello. Come back. Um, 
I don't know if I battled everyone. <laughs> Welcome for being at work. I do like Aggron. Aggron's one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. <clears throat> In my top five or maybe even three. I'll sometimes repeat types, but it's gotta be like Pokemon that are pretty diverse in movesets. Okay, where am I going now? <laughs> I sometimes pick weird names, but... Alright. So, Kristen is on 121. I might go up to like 121 and 123. Oh, now... Oh, Isabel. I need to go back to her. Okay. I need you come back. That's me all the time. <laughs> I'm a needy person. This is Isabel right here. Haha, ah, I would be happy to show off my Pokemon as often as you like. like to give, you know, it's, it, like, I, oh gosh, I could name my own pokes, you know, but it's fun to let my viewers name them. Aw, oh, Elle is the best is my muffin. Elle is the best, El, Lachlan calls me Petal. He has for almost two years. So cute. I call him Muffin. We're weirdos, I know. Okay, well, this is fun. Oh, man. So, Sarah left this morning. She's flying up to uh, DC to spend the weekend with Robert. My mom just texted me. She had a layover in Philadelphia. Sarah's flight from Philadelphia was canceled. She's on standby for both a 6 p.m. and a 9 p.m. flight, but she might be overnight in Philadelphia. She's terrified. Dang, that sucks. Hope she gets out. She's in a strange city, knows nobody, stuck in the airport, that sucks. Yeah, but like, you know, I thankfully I don't think she checked a bag, I think everything that she has is on her, in her carry-on, so it's not like she's like without her toiletries and stuff. <laughs> they had cheese steak. Was it one of the best nights of your life? Or are you are you juking me? I hope she has something to do, like her iPad or DS or something. How is it one of the best nights of your life? I this sounds like story time. No, I don't, I'm not going to get a Gardevoir. Um, I actually prefer Gallade over Gardevoir, don't at me, but um, Gardevoir's fine. Um, I just prefer Gallade, and um, I feel like everybody puts a Gardevoir on their team, and I was just wanting to kind of um, branch out and use some Pokemon I'd never used before. For instance, I've never used a Sableye before, um, so I wanted to use a Sableye. Um, I've used Shiftry before, but it's been a long time, so I wanted to put Shiftry back on my thing. I didn't sleep at all. It's been all nice. Oh, okay. Um, all right. Let me fly up to 
<laughs> like here. Um, do I want to go to the Jagged Pass first? I might do that, because I know there's a guy in the Jagged Pass. So you just wandered the Denver airport? I've flown through Denver as well. It was dark. Like, I landed at like 9.30 and I had like a 10.30 flight, so I had like an hour layover in Denver coming back from LA back in fall. And, um... <clears throat> And, um, I would like to Pokemon Go again. I just don't have the time. Um, but, like, it was dark, and everything was, like, metal, and it looked really sterile and not cozy, and it made me sad inside. I didn't particularly care for the Denver airport. It wasn't miserable, but it was late and dark and scary. All right, where are you at? Are you who I'm looking for? Is it me you're looking for? This is before you kids in your Pokemon Go. You got lost in the Atlanta airport because you didn't have your phone. It was wild. Atlanta's the biggest airport in the States. I've flown through it many times because flying out of Charleston, <laughs> like 90% of your layovers are going to be in Atlanta. I got a lot of love. One continuous line. Yeah. S <laughs> You've never been through the Atlanta airport? Yeah. Well, <clears throat> um, like, basically, with Charleston, if you don't have a layover in Atlanta, you have a layover in Nashville or Charlotte. <laughs> Airports over here like have like three gates. I think we have 12 in Charleston. Not too many. Yeah. Four gates. Holy cow. Okay. Be safe. <clears throat> is this a... Oh, okay, cool. Okay, okay, cool. This is who I was looking for. Rob's never been to the Atlanta airport because he refuses to come visit you. Because he's rude, not Dan. Oh! Speaking of, there is a possibility that I will be in Atlanta on the 11th summer. So if it happens, I'll let you know. We'll meet up for lunch or something. <clears throat> I got an email yesterday. It's up in the air, and I haven't heard back, but it is possible I'll be in, uh, just for, like, the day. Like, I drive in on the 10th, stay the night, so we can maybe have dinner on the 10th or something. You're from Belgium? Ah, You're the second person I know, uh, in my channel, from my channel that, uh, is from Belgium. So, welcome for being from Belgium. I'm glad to meet another Belgian. Tiny country, tiny airports. What is your capital? I don't remember off the top of my head, and I'm sorry that I don't remember, but what's your capital city? <clears throat> Brussels, that's right, that's right. I should, I knew that. I knew that off the top of my head. I just sounded like a dummy. It's also the capital of Europe. Oh. Uh. <clears throat> do you live near Brussels or do you live outside of Brussels? Also, I'm, feel free to decline answering any of these questions. I know the internet can be a scary place and I don't want to be a scary internet person. The muscles from Brussels. <clears throat> Picnic or Diana? I only lost because the ground is too bumpy. Brussels is a dump? Really? Okay. Do you like living in Brussels? Or not Brussels. Belgium? Derp. Yeah, I am a Steve, and I'm sorry. Um, yeah, feel free. You're never going to hurt my feelings if you're like, uh, I don't want to give that information out. It, you're, it's never going to hurt my feelings. I just like learning about people. So 
I'm sorry. If I ask questions that make you uncomfortable and you decline answering them, like, for real, we cool. Like, it's not gonna hurt my feelings at all. Because buff as heck, yeah, right. Yes, I definitely will, Summer. Why is my knee so flipping itchy? <laughs> what am I doing? Oh, yeah, I'm looking at this. And then I should go back to more water. Uh, I kind of done like. Uh, you know what? I don't want to track these people down anymore. It's a good country to live in. But camping is illegal? Why is that? <laughs> yeah, no. I'm fine. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, yeah, what is there like I'm I'd be curious to know the reason that camping was illegal. That seems kind of silly to me. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go, boys and girls. explore because we hate fun <laughs> checks out yeah okay <clears throat> I'm just gonna go back and forth and collect items and battle things Focused on games. Shannon, don't you live outside of the states too, or am I imagining that? I might be imagining that, and I apologize if I am. But I don't you also live outside of the states? Yay, level up. Ooh, no, I don't want mean look. Only gym time, no fun time. If you hate fun, this is the place for you. That's like in their um, move to Belgium uh, commercials, because they have this, I'm sure. Western Canada, okay. Eat waffles, get gains, hate your life. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> I got a zinc. I'm gonna eat this chocolate thing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure maple's a kind of tree. I think both, Shannon. Oh, I want that. Correct, Wade. Um, Crobat evolves by uh, high friendship, so. bad matchup. Oh, sorry, Tear. Um, let's see if I'm faster. Nope. Alright, cool. That was better than that went better than it could have. Ah, oh, Skarmory, though. Mm, 
this is not gonna work. Gravy, fries, and cheese curds. Oh, sounds so good. I've never had poutine, but I'm pretty sure it sounds amazing. <laughs> no fires involved. <laughs> <laughs> they just are fire. I have to work today at three and it's making me depressed thinking about it. Yeah, I definitely want to try poutine someday. Shannon, if you want to mail me some poutine. I'll let you know, you know, you can just slide on, slide some of that over here. I give up. You had it before? Is it super good? Well, you said they are fire, so I assume that you were telling the truth. <clears throat> we should have a slow and methodical match. No, I'm gonna beat you up. I wanted to live in Winnipeg, but then a Canadian friend told me su people suck in Winnipeg and ruined my dream. It's one of the most disgusting, delicious things ever. You get off at 1.30, you can't wait to go home. Yeah, I have to work 3 to 11 today, tomorrow, and Sunday. And we're sold out because we have the, we have like a big athletic association in. It's like not players, it's like people with a lot of money that fund sports or something like that. It's kind of strange. What are some disgusting, delicious things that I like? Um cheese sauce <laughs> love that stuff like I went to the movies with my mom and Sarah last night <clears throat> and um, I got like nachos and they just like pump that fake cheese it's so good though <laughs> yeah my schedule changes every single week because I work at a hotel so never close we're never closed so um, my schedule changes every week um, so I get next weekend off though which is fun I hate that you can't use fake out except for the first time you're out I wish it was like the first time that the opposing Pokemon was out but whatever yay artificial cheese which is funny because I don't actually like like slices of like American cheese, like Kraft American cheese. I don't like that stuff. It tastes too plastic to me. But like fake cheese sauce, oh yeah. I work at my college, so our office is closed on the weekend. Yeah. That's the difference in uh, the states and Belgium. <laughs> Across three countries in four hours that's so strange to think about like I live in kind of a smaller state I live in South Carolina and I can go from I live on the coast like I live on the on the water um, but I if I go the long way through the entire state I can cross it in about three and a half hours <clears throat> um, so it's always strange to me like when people are like yeah I live in a country that's only an hour across to drive the whole thing and I'm like whoa <laughs> takes you four hours to get to yeah I'm about five hours drive from Atlanta <clears throat> oh I got a rare candy four and a half hours honestly if I don't stop I can make it in about four hours and 15 minutes four hours 30 minutes do I want to dive yes yes I do I love the underwater theme, so let's listen.
You used to live in Sas Saskatchewan. It's about the size of Texas. Less than a million people live there. Wow. You're only 45 minutes from Savannah? Then you're pretty, you're semi close to me. I can make it to Savannah in about an hour and 45 minutes. Just straight down the coast there. Why would I want to go to Indiana? I'm almost certain this is um, Sutopolis. Oh, no. Did I literally just find it? Okay. I just found it on accident. I thought I was going to Sutopolis, but I'm not. <clears throat> so I'm going to surface and continue to level up because I don't feel like I'm ready. Is there anything going on down here? Nope. All right, well, I'm like way down here now, so. <clears throat> Let me do some more leveling. Heck yeah, Brit. I go to Savannah a couple times a year. That'd be fun. We'd meet up for coffee or something. Or yeah, or like go down to the, we could go down the river walk or something. Eat, eat at the pub down there. I love that pub down on the river walk if you're familiar with that one. I don't remember the name of it. Gosh, I wish I remembered the name of it. But the, that little pub, right, like right there on the river walk. <clears throat> Love it. Yeah. Savannah. I hope to be there by the morning. Can you li listen? Yeah, I'm sure we can. Ghosting is not. <laughs> I won't ghost you though, Britt. But we can look for ghosts. Yeah, the candy store. And then the Savannah Bee Company is right there on the river walk too, which we have a Savannah Bee Company here in Charleston, but um, it's just better for me. To, I like going to the Savannah one better. <clears throat> Eat honey, drink mead. I'm just kidding, I don't drink the mead. <laughs> You're welcome. I don't like being ghosted either. I know I'm not good now, but I think I can win eventually. Please register me in your Poké now. I think I'm gonna throw down a rappel. Because all I'm interested in is the trainers. Oh, I've only been going for an hour? I feel like I've been going for a lot longer than that, which is cool. It gives me more time. It's not even 11. The highly accurate southern accents. The Nancy Drew references are real. Y'all should come to Europe. We'll road trip through Italy. Yes! Um, I have a dream to um, go to um, Venice. If I ever get married, I would like my honeymoon to be in Venice. Um, I also want to see Florence and Rome. What's a Juventus? Yeah, I would, there's a lot of things in Europe I want to see. I've never traveled outside of the States. I've had a um, passport for like two and a half years and I've never used it, which is a shame. I really should get some use out of it. <clears throat> oh, it's a football team, soccer. I got you. Okay. I got you. Sorry, I know nothing about football. Yeah, Tara, let's go. You went to Venice? Uh, I, I would just, I, I'm fascinated with Venice. It would be so cool. I wish I had lots and lots and lots of money and I could just go anywhere I wanted anytime I wanted to. Ooh, Verona. Yeah, gosh, I'm so jealous. 
There is no stronger trainer than I. Oh! Hello, Raz! Good morning, Dolan. Your, ra your host broke my computer. That's fun. I broke it. My dang computer. I'm gonna let it calm down. <laughs> Thanks for breaking everything, Dolan. It's fine. <laughs> Dylan is Razaski. <laughs> Razaske. <clears throat> Everything's fine. <laughs> Hang on a second. I'm gonna fix this. Dolan. <laughs> yeah, we just... Yeah. His name is Dylan. I just... <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Dylan, I'm sorry. Stay. Please stay. It's it's my computer. It's not you. It, my computer's just ridiculous, and I need a new one terribly bad. <clears throat> How are you? Happy Friday. I'm sorry. You're definitely wanted. fixed it, see? <laughs> great. I'm a great fixer. Hyper beam. I'm gonna do it just for the lulz. <laughs> Life ruined? No. Decibel. Watch. Hi Dylan, how goes it? How was your week? Rob knows. <laughs> oh my gosh. Cool trainer Ruben. Reuben sandwich, though. That makes me hungry for a Reuben sandwich. So, how come return is stronger than hyper beam? That's disappointing. Yeah, Rubens are delish. Mostly just because I really like sauerkraut and I think it's the pole in me. That sounded violent. I'm Polish. <laughs> I don't have a pole like through my gut or anything like that. It sounds uncomfortable. <clears throat> yeah, Dezebel loved me. <laughs> Can't all get what we want. Okay. Return at max value is 70. I don't, wow. Thank you for the education. Switch this, switch, switch, switch. I know that I you probably some of you think that I'm like super weird because I always keep my Pokemon in order by HP, by max HP. I did pick Swampert over Blaziken because Mudkip is better. <laughs> I 
love me some mudkips. So, <clears throat> what is your favorite starter, Zachary, and your least favorite starter? All gens, all games. What's your ranking? Favorite starter, least favorite starter. Hello. Come here, please. You Americans are weird. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I might just dive in and go for, uh, see how far I can get. <laughs> with my levels in uh, the seafloor cavern. Favorite Totodao, least favorite Chikorita? So both your, your favorite and your least favorite both come from Johto. That's interesting. I like Chikorita and I like Totodile. <clears throat> Totodile's my favorite from um, Johto, but not my favorite overall starter. What is your favorite starter from each gen? How's that for a question? We've talked, some of us have talked about this before, <clears throat> but I'd be curious to know your favorite. Um, my favorite, um, which is funny because this is actually my least favorite gen in overall, but my favorite starter is Turtwig. Um, and my least favorite starter is Chimchar, which is funny because <laughs> Actually, you know what? I think Mudkip and Turtwig are kind of tied for first place. Um, yeah, I would I would say that's more accurate. Mudkip and Turtwig are kind of tied for first, but Chimchar is my least favorite overall starter. Wow, Dylan. It was kind of sweet, and then it wasn't at all. So, thank you. Yeah, I, d I do not like Chimchar. I don't like that line at all, unfortunately. And I'm sorry for anybody who does like Chimchar and hit that line, but I just don't like Chimchar or that whole evolution line. These personalities reflected in her Pokemon choice is very grounded. Thank you. Thank you. I accept that. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, so Bulbasaur is my favorite Gen 1 starter. Turtwig is awesome, as as you as I just said, and Tepig is my favorite Gen 5 starter, so that's cool. Charmander, Totodile, Torchic, Piplup, Tepig, and Froki. What about um, Sun and Moon? Have you played Sun and Moon yet? The ground type pun. <laughs> um, Tepig and Froki are we're twins on, but. Hardcore defending? I... Did I defend anything? I'm so confused. You haven't played Sun and Moon yet. Okay, okay, okay. That's cool. Hopefully when you get to it, you'll love it. I'm very confused. What was I defending? I didn't feel defensive. Dylan is confusing me. But what else is new? <laughs> I mean, what? Oh, I already battled this guy. Rowlet is definitely my favorite from Sun and Moon. 
You would let me die with that mob I pulled up ahead. I don't know what you're referencing, but I don't think I need to. Alright, we're just gonna do this. Submarine Explorer 1. Yes, I would like. <laughs> he was saying I was defending you. What? Oh, 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 oh. I was very confused. I thought that it was like defending, comma, Victoria. I understand now. Do I want to try to find Sutopolis just so I can fly back for heals? I feel like I'm doing okay, though. I quit my sub to wow Dylan, so no more dying to moms you pull in fish fit. I just offend people, especially when V claims I'm making stereotypes. I don't think you offended anyone. Alright. Are there Pokemon in here? I don't even know. Why is that there? I don't understand. Oh, that's why. Okay. Gen 8 Pokemon. Who is ready for a Pokemon Switch announcement, though? Oh, also, um, who's getting Detective Pikachu? Because I'm kind of debating once I finish... I'm... I can't remember the name. The... It's sometime this month. Um... I'm debating um, after I finish Emerald here. I'm looking this up. Hang on. March 23rd. Um, on the 23rd. So I'm debating after I finish uh, Emerald here that I will um, maybe blind playthrough on stream Detective Pikachu. That might be the next P Pokemon game. The next Pokemon game I was gonna do was... Dylan, please. <laughs> your smell and your appearance are not offensive. I would know. I've hung out with you IRL. What was I doing? Pokemon games. The next Pokemon game I was going to stream is probably going to be Leaf Green. Um, I thought about doing Colosseum, but I think I'm going to hold off on that. Um, so I think I was going to do Leaf Green, but I'm thinking about maybe doing um, finishing up Pokemon Picross as much as I can do a day. And then, uh, doing blind, uh, Detective Pikachu. <laughs> I would know because V is a Steve. Yeah, V is. V apologizes. Alright. Let's beat up all of these guys. So, if you guys are cool with that, I'll probably do some Detective Pikachuing. Aw, Leaf Green was the first Pokemon game you ever played. That's so sweet. I love... Pokemon so much. Uh, first Pokemon game I ever played was blue. First game I ever owned was gold. Trozy though? I have Trozy. Um, I could have, I eventually would like to play that too. A boy in your class gave it to you for birthday in elementary school. That's awesome! Yeah, so I think I'm gonna do leaf green, um, after I do, so after Emerald, we'll do some more Pokemon Picross, um, then Detective Pikachu when it comes out, I'm thinking blind playthrough, and then, uh, go into leaf green. That's kind of my plan. You have a super vivid and kind of random memory associated with Leaf Green. I'd like to know that. Did you marry that boy, Zachary said. You... Water blue. <laughs> I did not marry that boy, but my friend did. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> You're joking. Well, I figured. Nobody here is ugly. You are all beautiful humans, and I'm proud to know you all. Okay, I don't want to get lost here, and I feel like I'm going to.
My mom told me I'm ugly like 20. What? Rude. Dylan, please. <laughs> okay, I don't want to get lost. And I feel like I'm going to get lost in here. That submarine, it's tiny inside. I'm sore all over. It's fine. I wasn't interested and now they have kids together. I'm sure you're a very, very lovely gentleman, Zachary. Does that make him a sore loser? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, friends. <clears throat> you agree with what? Zachary being a, a delightful gentleman. I laughed. Oh. Maybe that's not where I meant to go. Oh well. Oh well. Who are you? Where did you come in from? What is Monster's slogan anyway? I don't know. I know that Red Bulls is Red Bull gives you wings. But I don't know what Monster's is. Have you guys tried that, um, that energy drink that, like, Twitch makes? Or, like, sponsors or whatever? Like, the purple can Twitch stuff? I've heard people talk about it. But I don't know, like, where do you buy that? I've never seen it. Yeah, Zach is cool. Monster, we have no slogan. <laughs> that would be funny if that was it. We have no slogan. <laughs> yeah, that purple can thing. Where do you buy that? I don't know. I've never seen it. Unleash the beast. That's right. That's right. That's right. can't find the way out. I'm not afraid. Don't get me wrong. Who are you? Where do you think you're going? I don't know. I really hope I get that email back today for that gig in Atlanta on the 11th. That would just be cool. You get him on the weekends. Well, um, I'm pretty sure if you asked Rob, he would say that he, um, he and Terror are already happily the best bromance on the whole internet, so, you know, just saying. One and done. Oh, I just snorted. Why'd that make me laugh? <laughs> Monster, it's energy for your food hole. I hope it's not just food hole energy. I hope it gives your whole body energy because if it gave just your food hole energy, you'd probably just like be talking really fast and stuff like that. Check the map, goof. Oh wait, this is the back side of that. Ugh. Okay, everything connects strangely in this game. We're not going to go down there because I think that goes back to the entrance. <clears throat> Why is Tara and Rob the bromance? Because, duh. Just the food hole. <laughs> Alright. Okay. 
he's the better half by far. Aww. That was probably a bad idea. Let me crush this. I am disap- Oh! Thank you so much for that follow officially, Zachary! I appreciate that! That's why- Aww, calling him out. Okay, we're back at the beginning again. Why is everything connect back to the beginning? Hmm. <clears throat> oh, hey Paige, how are you? Good morning. Aw, the lucky lunk who was graced with his presence. So cute. I am not, Rob says. You still need to watch a goofy movie. Yes, you do. I cannot be swayed. Yeah, we'll definitely make it happen, like Tara said. Check the map, goof. Maybe we could do that, like, Monday night? Summer and Terror and anybody else who is interested perhaps in watching a goofy movie with us um maybe we could do that monday night i'm off on monday which i'm not usually off on mondays so that might be a fun thing to do either like monday afternoon or like monday night like right before i go to bed that's just an idea i'm just i'm just shooting ideas out summer you have been deprived yes yes she has I'm never not interested in watching a goofy movie. Thank you. Bless you. <clears throat> Best movie. Well, my favorite movie is actually Napoleon Dynamite, but goofy movie is really high up there for me. Yes, we still love you. And we're going to fix the problem. Because I'm going to go up here. Oh, one of these things. All right, okay, all right. That's going down. I don't have my bot on because it was messing up my stream. <laughs> my apologies. Max. Max. Oh, that was not what I meant to do. Shoot. Yeah, I'm gonna, I have to get a new laptop before I can do Elgato and um, bot together is what I've learned. Let's do up. Okay, okay, okay. All right, okay. Let's go this way. Oh no, oh okay, yeah, it's fine. This is fine. Ah. We're, oh, sorry, we're quoting a goofy movie. So why is this puzzle here when I can literally just walk around? I guess if you didn't want to battle these guys. I probably should save before I go in this door. <laughs> Our dream to become real, we need the power of Pokemon. But meddlers like you use the power of Pokemon to mess with us, even at a place like this. Life just doesn't work the way we need it to. Amen to that. Yeah, we can all introduce ourselves. I'll start. My name is uh, Victoria. Most people call me Victoria or <laughs> Tori or V is actually the most common thing that I'm called on Twitch. You can call me any of the above. Um, uh, that's basically it. So I'm Victoria, Tori, or V. Primarily V on Twitch, but you can call me any of those things. And everybody else can introduce themselves if they'd like, officially. I love that he's taken that so literally and made it his own. Oh, it's the, CG, uh, the six thing. Yep. 
Alright, get the cheap damage. <laughs> Wade. We got Brit, we got R Wade. Mallow makes me think of uh, Sun and Moon now. Is that weird? Alright, um... Okay, thanks for roaring me. Let's do surf. Will I change Pokemon? Yes, I'm going back to Spoopy. <clears throat> Raz's favorite is, uh, Arcanine as well. Yes, I also would like to, uh, watch you play that, Terror. It should be- a Is that a Duskull dabbing? Is that what that is? Ninetales is not better. Oh my gosh, so close to that level up. That is what that is. Oh, the dabbing Duskull. Please no violence in my chat. I do not love- Terror, please! <laughs> please! not good at it. You know, we don't dare question the motives of our leader. But here you are, just some punk going up against our boss. Maybe you must be something. Do I have, like, a little potion? I've got a glitter mail if I need that. Alright, we're just gonna use one of my 13 Hyper Potions here on Spoopy. I love to dab mustard and ketchup in my sandwiches and dab my keyboard dry. Why is your keyboard wet? Wet with solvents? The heck? <laughs> I'd love to see that. Nah. <laughs> nah, fam. Sorry. <laughs> no, I know what Tara's getting. I'm sad about it, but it exists on the internet for all to see, so there's only so much I can do about it. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. I wonder who it's from. Oh, the glitter mail reminded me of that. <laughs> Dylan's doing chemistry over his keyboard. <laughs> science experiments. <laughs> and I do want payback for what happened at the Weather Institute. I'm gonna give you a little taste of pain. Resign yourself to it. Alright, Shelly, chill out. <clears throat> they are ice skating on the canals. Also, Rob went all out with that uh, intro. Alright. Fake out. Shockwave. Darn. I'll give you. That's a lot of reading. Cool. Oh my gosh, Raz, please. <gasps> Spoopy! Yeah! Okay, okay, phew, okay. 
Ice skating through 11 cities. That kind of sounds fun. All right, we're swapping. We're gonna swap to L is the best. All right. Please, L is the best. Please. I need that accuracy to come on through. Yes! Don't say please, you, because that's reserved for Rob. Okay. <laughs> I've been saying welcome for joining for like two years, and everybody says that now. So, how about that? Hmm? If people can't say words that other people say. Okay, so Rock Tomb was terrible. That was much better. I've been, I watched a lot of the Olympics. You should eat if you're hungry, Paige. Thank you, Rob. Actually, my two year stream anniversary will be April 15th. So there's that. Maybe I should do something big for two years. How about that? No, I have no, I literally have no problem with people saying welcome for joining. It makes me happy. I was just using that as an example against why Dylan saying that I can't say things that other people say is kind of silly. Someone just came to my office from another office and needed to get into the file room, but my boss is not here and I didn't have a key, so I had to go find one. Ooh, like a Nancy Drew. What about saying welcome for? I started saying welcome for joining two, like almost two years ago, and now everybody says welcome for joining, welcome for thising, welcome for thatting. That's what I was saying. Organize a LAN party, I'll fly to the US. Totally. Um, it's locked. Oh, Rob said Mexican and now all I really want is a quesadilla and queso. Oh, is it's locked a Harry Potter thing for you? A LAN party with my great laptop, yeah, for sure. I'm sorry, but it's a, I'm a disappointment. Oh my gosh, to you. I like Rock Tomb, but the accuracy on this makes me sad. You're the only person you know other than your mom who does My um, dad doesn't really like Mexican food, so we never go out to Mexican as a family. You dreamt of a chicken quesadilla last night? Sounds like a lovely dream. If it means anything, Tori, I call everyone at work friend, and now everyone calls me friend and buddy and pal. So it just happens, see? It's not like a bad thing. You don't have to like claim words or phrases as your own. You should enjoy sharing the English language with everybody. Memories of what I told V of a dream I had, she just called me a liar. Tara, please! <laughs> I don't know what to have for lunch today. Yeah. It's not that my dad won't eat Mexican, he just doesn't like it very much. We barely have Mexican food here. The first time you ate it was this summer. <laughs> Dylan, you're scaring me. Did I do this wrong? That's a- that's too creepy. I'm gonna 
run away. You wanna run away, run away, but you say that it can't be so. I need this person to found to leave! If my phrase catches on, I'm an influencer. I, I know. That's the most exciting part. You're like a bold cup of coffee, Dylan. Oh, a thing. I found Earthquake. Ooh, do I teach Earthquake to, uh... Should I teach Earthquake to Marcelo in exchange for Mudshot? I feel like I should. All the fast food. Oh, I I think that's just dumb. You should I mean, calling someone friend isn't I don't think that that's inappropriate unless you were like unless somebody specifically asked you not to and you did anyway. But I'm a nice cup of Colombian and black roast. We have Brussels sprouts. I actually like Brussels sprouts. Roast those suckers up with like some um, olive oil. Like cut them in half. Olive oil drizzle. Salt. Paprika. Roast those suckers. Delish. How old am I? I'm 25. Oh, you were asking Rob. Ooh, I can teach Earthquake to Decibel? Do I want the type coverage? Well, I've got Marcelo and Ella's the best with ground type moves, so I think I'm okay. I am gonna, I want Marcelo to be a powerhouse though, so I'm going, I am gonna delete. I am gonna replace Mudshot with Earthquake. Yeah, I, I would totally will, Paige. I like cauliflower. I actually like cauliflower more than I like broccoli. I'll start loving them this summer. <laughs> you turn 21 this summer? Yeah, I know Marcella gets stabbed. But I like the coverage. Yeah, I know what stab is, Dylan. Thank you. See, I prefer cauliflower to brock. I like broccoli fine, but cauliflower. My mom makes mashed cauliflower, um, kind of like you would make mashed potatoes, and it's very good. Um. Is there anything I can give Decibel for some coverage? It's same type attack bonus, I thought. I thought it was same type attack bonus. If I'm wrong, please correct me, but I thought it was same type attack bonus. I'm not as avid in the competitive scene, but I still know what stab is. You turned 22 on the 15th of this month. And you just like essentially all veggies. I like pretty much all veggies. Yellow squash and zucchini, though, are tied for top of the list for me. I love veggies. I don't think there's really anything I can give. I don't want to give focus punch because... Thank you, Tara. <laughs> the wrong B word. It's okay, we forgive you. I never said anything about cucumber. <laughs> I know your squash thing, and I'm sorry about that, Paige, but I really do. I, I don't I don't love um, other squashes as much. Like, spaghetti squash I'm okay with. Um, I'm not really a fan of butternut squash, but I'll eat it. Um, but yellow yellow squash and uh, zucchini is, is the best. You're allergic to peppers? Like, hot peppers or all peppers? All right, here's we go.
Hold it right there. I like cu I like cucumbers enough to eat them straight. So it was you after all. Behold. See how beautiful it is, the sleeping form of the ancient Pokemon Kyogre. I've waited so long for this day to come. It surprises me how you've managed to chase me here, but that's all over now. For the realization of my dream, you must disappear now! Why are you sad-facing, Zack? Yeah, spaghetti squash is pretty good. Um, my favorite way to do it is, uh, you, may, you like, cook the spaghetti squash, you, like, bake it. Bake the spaghetti squash, spaghetti it out, you know, so it's like noodles. And then you put, um... Uh, melted butter, lemon juice, um, capers, um, like you make like a little sauce. Oh, thank you so much for that follow, Wade. Um, so you do capers, lemon juice, uh, butter, and uh, black olives. Like you make like a little sauce and you pour that over the top. It's super delish. Oh, that's sad. In my mind, I'm not thinking of any food that I really have a dis terrible distaste for. Six push-ups, yeah. Okay, so I do push-up, three push-ups for every follow that I get after stream is over. Oh, why are you doing this? Why, why my computer, please? Hang on, I can fix it. I just have to literally turn it off and back on every time. And everything's fine when I do that. How much longer is the stream going to go? I'm going to go till about 12.30 my time, maybe 12.45. So another 45 minutes to an hour is my plan. Yeah, I know that Paige is streaming at about 1 o'clock my time, so I will be done by the time she goes on. Yeah, y'all are good people. Thanks for being here. And thank you for the follow. Let us... Ah, Rock Smash is so weak in this game, though. Alright, I want the stab. This is legit the nicest channel you've been in? Aww! Well, thanks! That's what I strive for, so I'm glad that you're... I'm glad that that's the vibe you're getting. Oh, I thought you were streaming at noon your time, which is one my time, right? Am I... If I'm incorrect, please tell me. Because that's part of the reason that I... That's specifically part of the reason that I streamed early. It's because I knew you were going to stream. Aw, you are always welcome, Shannon. I like cucumbers and pickles a lot, Dylan. Do I like spears or full-on pickles? Um, either, I guess. Yes, I'm right. Okay, cool. So you're streaming at noon your time, which is one my time, so I will be finished at the latest by 12.45 my time, which will give us a 15-minute window before Paige goes live. That's my plan, and that's why I did this. <laughs> you love pickles but hate cucumbers? Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Paige. So we're just doing it one after the other. Boom, boom, boom. You guys can have Nancy Drew fam all over. Alright, cool. I'm so glad that my confusion did not deter everything too badly. Do I want to switch? No. I'm gonna hope for a good roll. A good accuracy roll on Rock Tomb. Please, 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 please. Oh yeah, and then Rob's streaming tonight, which I'll miss because... Work. Sad face. Do you flinch? You're literally made of steel! I don't really even watch her interactive streams anymore. I'm still a mod in their channel, but I never really make it to their streams because usually they stream when other people that I like more are streaming. I feel terrible, but... Reading. Yeah, I do book streams too. For the 
left through the right sunflower rainbow. Thank you. I knew he was going to do that. Yeah, reading streams are great. Um, I really enjoy listening to them, and I enjoy doing them as well. So I do occasionally do reading streams, um, but not as much as I do gaming streams. Yeah, you guys are better than her interactive streams. I'll join the stream before dinner. Yeah! Speaking of, um, since I am off on Monday, I would like to do um, possibly even two streams on Monday. I'd like to finish up the book that I'm reading and then maybe do some more Pokemon Picross or try to finish up this game. I didn't want to switch. Someday I wish to become a streamer. One day, one day you'll get there, Raz. You do stream, Tara, and your streams are wonderful. I don't have my bot on again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I don't have my bot on. Do I want to rock smash and hope? Let me see how much it does. Indie Fam Interactive, yeah. Let's see how much it does. Better than I thought, but I still think that my um, Iron Tail is going to do more. <laughs> Thank you, Summer. <laughs> Hello, Valval. How are you? Nice to meet you. My name is <laughs> my name is Victoria or Tori or V, as most people call me. Welcome to the channel. I hope you're having a great uh, Friday morning. Um, if you are here because you love Pokemon, which I hope and assume that you are, uh, tell me a little bit about yourself if you like. Uh, what's your favorite Pokemon game? What's your favorite Pokemon? Anything you want to share with us? Just welcome to the channel, and I hope you enjoy your time here. Thank you, Rob. <laughs> I was just doing, oh yeah, Terry streams are awesome. Everyone should know. What? I lost to a mere child like you? Yes, you did. I commend you. I must recognize that you are truly gifted. But I have this in my possession. With this red orb, I can make Kyogre. The red orb suddenly began shining by itself! <laughs> you guys doing manual shoutouts is making me happy. <laughs> what? I didn't do anything! Why did the red orb- where did Kyogre go? Hmm, it's a message from our members outside. Yes, what is it? It's raining heavily? Good, that should have happened. That's why we awakened Kyogre, to realize Team Aqua's vision of expanding the sea. What? It's raining far harder than we envisioned? You're in danger? That can't be. That's just not possible. How hold your position and monitor the situation. Your favorite Pokemon is Trico. Okay, awesome. Why? Why did Kyogre disappear? I thought I was doing what- you thought I was doing what? What have you wrought? Archie, you finally awoken Kyogre, haven't you? What will happen to the world if this downpour continues for all eternity? The world landmass will drown in the deepening sea. What? Don't get all high and mighty with me. Wasn't it you, Team Magma, that infuriated Groudon? So long as I have this red orb, I should be able to control Kyogre. I should be able to control it. We don't have the time to argue about it here. Get outside and see for yourself. See if what you've wrought is the world that we desired. Trico's awesome. V, come on, you have to get out of here too. Thank you. Thank you for coming in, Dylan. I hope you have a great rest of the day. Have a great weekend. I'll see you when I can see you. Oh, what I was saying is um, on Monday, because I'm off and I'm not normally off on Mondays, I'd like to maybe do a dual stream. So, Oh, I already said that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm repeating myself. I forgot that I finished my thought. Read stream and possibly finish the rest of this is kind of my goal. Either that or I'll read and then do Pokemon Picross. <laughs> I only wanted... Do you understand now, Archie? 
Do you finally see how disastrous your dream turned out to be? We have to hurry. We have to do something before the situation goes completely out of control. V, don't say anything. I know that I have no right to be critical of Archie. But the way things are now, I doubt that we humans will be capable of doing anything about it. But neither can we stand by and just watch helplessly. The responsibility for putting an end to this falls to Archie and me. This defies belief. Those super ancient Pokemon. Their power is unbelievable. They've upset the balance of nature. Yeah, these are good. These are great manual shoutouts, guys. V, what's happening? Hi, Steven. This is terrible. After the scorching heat wave ended, this deluge began. If this doesn't stop, all of Hoenn, no, the whole world will drown. This huge rain cloud is spreading from above Sutopolis. What in the world is taking place there? There's no point in arguing here. Sutopolis might provide answers. V, I don't know what you intend to do, but I but don't do anything reckless. Okay, I'm going to Sutopolis. Oh, Valval, I appreciate that. Thank you very much, and welcome officially to the channel. I hope you enjoy your time here. <clears throat> oh. Okay, found a protein. How do I get to stinking Tutopolis? I'm confused. Oh, that's right. I have to go sideways. All right. All right. Um, I'm on Route 128. I need to get to 126. Shannon, thank you so much for uh, being here. Have a wonderful rest of the weekend. I hope to see you again soon. Don't be a stranger, okay? Bad type matchup, but you know. Oh, my thing's being weird again. I can fix this. I know it's annoying, and I'm sorry that I have to keep doing this, but... I'm wanting to fix it. You're playing Pokemon Emerald as well! Awesome. Do you like um, Hoenn the best? Is, that, is, is Emerald your favorite Pokemon game? There we go. Um... This is the way I need to go, correct? <laughs> Drinking raw eggs, that's so rocky. Sarah should do that. Drink raw eggs. Oh, her being in Philly, yeah. Why do I wanna battle this level eight guy? Oh, can I battle you? Coffee so cold. It's okay, Rob. It's like a, it's an honest mistake. You learned. That's the important part. You learned. someone's in Japan this summer? Yeah, okay. I'll just fly on over with all my money. 
I actually have three big trips planned this year and I need to save up for all of them. I'm going to Gatlinburg for a week in uh, the summer, in July, because I do that all the time. I do that every year. Um, I volunteer at a youth conference there. Going to TwitchCon, have plans to go to, to make it to TwitchCon, hopefully, if everything works out. Go to TwitchCon in October, and then I have booked a week for my family to go to Disney World in early December, which is going to be exciting because it, um, well, be able to see all the Christmas stuff. Oh, there you go. There's the follow, Valval. Thank you so much. You weren't in Rob. You or you weren't in Rob. You weren't in Rome. Oh, bye bye, Zach. Thank you so much for being here. I hope to see you again soon. Don't be a stranger. Iceland and Ireland this summer. That's exciting. I want to see Iceland. I want to see like basically everything in Europe. Come on, computer. Stick with me. I'm gonna deactivate it real quick. And Eiffel. Oh, really? I've been to Disney five times. It's my favorite place in the world. I want to work there one day. Um... I am very, 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 very excited to go with my parents. It's been six years since we've gone as a family, and I really want my parents to see some of the new stuff that's been um, put out. Um, but I'm so excited. It's literally my favorite place in the whole world. Yes, I saw the follow. Thank you so much, Valval. I hope you enjoy your time here officially. And thank you so much for that follow. I really appreciate that. Let me check something. I'm at 455 followers. So only 45 followers left till I hit uh, 500 and I'll do my 12 hour stream. So that's pretty exciting. This woman came in, made herself some coffee and then left so now I have coffee I guess <laughs> that would be amazing Paige if we could ever do that one day we keep talking about it yeah I know okay this way yeah all right let me do a few battles out here and then thank you so much You have no trips planned. Terry, you gotta get on that. Trips are great. I like traveling a lot. Uh, the worst part about it is that they cost money. And so to get money to go on the trips, I have to work, but then I don't have time to go on trips because I'm working to have money to go on trips that I don't have time or money for. Oh, you're going to Australia again. I would also love to go there. Is there anybody out here to battle? There's gotta be, right? Yeah, this guy. This guy. Struggling now. Swimmer Barry. Is it gonna be pretty hot? It's probably not gonna cool down until like May ish, right? May or June. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Super hot! <laughs>
<laughs> a lot of places don't have air conditioning. Yikes. It's so humid down here that, like, air conditioning is a need. Oh, my word. Well, bye, Petra. Whoa! Um. Hmm. I think I like m melodic, milotic, however you say it. I mean, I don't think we ever admitted the way that we're supposed to say it. Um. I think I like melodic a little more. It's like, it's hot and it's humid. And so together it's just miserable. I'm gonna come up here to Sutopolis and heal up and then maybe come back out. You were in Louisiana? No. <laughs> Look at this cutscene though. They're battling it out. Oh, that sucks, Paige. <gasps> Free Chick fil A! Can I come over and have some of that free Chick fil A? Jealous. Thank you so much, Valval, for joining. Thank you for being here. I hope to see you again soon. Please enjoy the rest of your weekend. And thank you so much again for the follow. Alright, I'm running up here. Yeah, that's right, Terror. Fourteen, that sucks. Yeah, nine push-ups. I have to do those at the end of stream. Alright, let me I'm leaving again to go. Yeah, still. The sea is deep here. Would you like to use dive? Yes I would. Ships are not great. I bet there's stuff to do down here. I wish that you could go faster. But that's alright. I could not do push ups for a very long time. And then I just committed myself to learning how to do a proper push-up and now I can do a proper push-up if you want to yeah heck yeah Brit oh yeah you go live in an hour Getting stuff. I know, right? Terror. That'd be pretty cool. That's the noise it would make, obviously, if I had a propeller. <laughs> I'm so weird. I'd be left alone for an hour. Oh my goodness gracious. Propellered Pelipper. I'm surprised I have not run into one Pokemon. Oh. <laughs> no. Your Nino Kuni cat talk. Which was great, by the way. I have one episode left to watch that you've put up. Ah, 
Dang, level 8. I don't care about you. You know what? I battled against, uh... You know what? Forget this. I battled against Archie just fine. I should be okay, right? I'm surprised, like, I'm so seriously surprised that I didn't run into any clan pearls during all of that. Okay. Let's talk to all the scared people. Wow, this is wicked! That was totally wicked! Yay! When two Pokemon that gigantic are fighting that savagely, there's not much we can do. Except stand here and stare at them. The weather was clear this morning, but all of a sudden dark clouds brewed up, rain started falling in sheets, and there was thunder and lightning too. The weather just went completely wild. Is all of this because of those Pokemon? These giant Pokemon suddenly appeared in the middle of the city, and I've never seen them before. Why are they smashing into each other like that? Why can't they be friends, those Pokemon? Because they're opposites. They're rivals. Everyone in town has taken refuge and won't come out of their homes. Even I would rather not venture outside. So I'm gonna chill in the Pokemon Center. Aren't Pokemon our friends? Why are they going wild this way? <sighs> Zootopolis' gym leader is really lovely, admirable. But that also means I have many rivals for his attention. He's got a peel with a double edge. I couldn't even catch his eye. Please let me teach your Pokemon the move double edge. Nah. For what what's worth. I've especially enjoyed the sewers terror. Oh, oh, oh you're talking about Nino Kuni. Kyogre, what's wrong? Look over here, it's the red orb. Calm down, Kyogre. It's no good, it's not responding at all. Groudon, please, stop what you're doing. I know the extent of your power now. If you keep going all Hoenn, not just Zootopolis will be utterly ruined. Go see Groudon again to get Groudon doing the cabbage patch. Yeah, yeah. Doing a cabbage patch. Hello. Ground on, what's wrong, buddy? Kyogre, are you okay? There's an ancient legend that claims the land and sea were shaped by a colossal battle between Pokemon. Well, I'm seeing that happen with my very own eyes. Whoa, I never expected to be witness to something this huge. What are you doing hiding in the corner? A big Pokemon is fighting with another big Pokemon. Please, someone make them stop. Oh no, Zootopolis City will get wrecked! Go for it, red Pokemon. Don't back off, blue Pokemon. Hi, do you know the names of those Pokemon fighting over there? I just get this sense somehow that the two Pokemon aren't angry. I think they probably can't control their own power. Those Pokemon fighting, Groudon and Kyogre, the two super ancient Pokemon were awakened from a long sleep. Welcome back! No, you didn't really miss anything, other than uh, Groudon's doing the Cabbage Patch and Kyogre's just kind of laying there. Hello, special effects! How are you? Welcome to the channel. Ooh, your mom made lasagna! Lucky! The two Super Agent Pokemon were awakened from a long sleep, and now they are smashing each other with their uncontrollable energy. V. You being here now, I'll take to mean that you're prepared to become involved in this crisis. Well, then there's someone I'd like you to meet. Come with me, please. The blue one is Squirtle and the red one is Agumon? <laughs> Listen, V. Does seeing Groudon and Kyogre make you think Pokemon are to be feared? But that's not true. Pokemon are really more... Why am I asking you this? You already know. Yes, this music brings back a lot of memories for me, too. I've been listening a lot lately to uh, Pokemon uh, music, like the game music. Yeah, this is my favorite Pokemon game of all of them. Okay, here we are. Inside here, you'll find someone named Wallace. I think you have what's needed to help him.
I'm gonna save just because I'm a little bit paranoid. there with crystal but I think crystal might pull a little ahead yeah okay it's snowing oh that's fun I do like crystal I have fond memories with crystal as well let's do some stab I'm just getting this ex this extra um, experience here all gold in the battle frontier oh good luck I just imagine in my head every single time V's character teams up with Steven He's talking, and V is just staring and Hi, Steven. <laughs> I like Steven Stone, okay? I think he's one of the best characters in the Pokemon world. Yeah, I've done the Battle Frontier, but um, I'm really not great at it. But I'm, I told everybody that I would do it on stream, so. I was in your house, Steven, before you invited me. That's exactly how I am. <laughs> Hi, Wallace. Ah, so you are V. I've heard tales of your exploits. My name is Wallace. I was once the gym leader of Sutopolis, but something came up. So now I've entrusted my mentor, Juan, with the gym's operation. I moved in. It's probably the most challenging they ever put in a Pokemon game. Unbelievable luck required and take a ton of time. The, um, are you talking about the Crystal Battle Tower or the Emerald Battle Frontier? Or the Heart Gold and Soul Silver Battle Frontier? Groudon and Kyogre, the two Pokemon wreaking havoc here, are considered to be super ancient Pokemon. But there aren't just two super ancient Pokemon. There is one more somewhere. Somewhere there is a super ancient Pokemon named Rayquaza. It's said that it was Rayquaza that becalmed the two combatants in the distant past, but even I have no clue as to Rayquaza's whereabouts. V, do you perhaps know where Rayquaza is now? If you do, please tell me. Duh, he's at the Sky Pillar. The Sky Pillar. That's it! It must be the Sky Pillar. V, there's not a moment to lose. We'll head to the Sky Pillar right away. All right. Run, run. Yeah, a lot of it is luck, but it's still pretty fun. Getting that free EXP, cause I'm here and I might as well. You did well, Terror. You did way better than I'm probably gonna do. <laughs> when I do my Nuzlocks. One of the towers is literally just your Pokemon picks a random move and uses it. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like the battle tents scattered throughout Pokemon Emerald as well. You did beat it. And you did very well. Kind of. Like a Pokemon you get in a trade that's like way higher leveled than you have badges for. Yeah. The Sky Pillar. I've never been there. I wonder where it could be. A person with a strong will and superior talent. A trainer who has knowledge and experience of many kinds of Pokemon. If such a person were to appear, I was instructed by Wallace to lead that trainer to this cave. Well, I've already been in it, so... You did well enough to win, that's correct. Let's check in everybody's houses, because why not? Hello. 
Doors closed. Oh, okay. Is anybody's doors open? Yeah, it is based on nature. I've heard of that. This door's closed. Everybody's locked up in their house. Yep. What about the mart? Can I get up in the mart? Oh, did I miss a follow notification? Lulu 1993 Cody, thank you so much for the follow. If, I'm sorry if I missed the notification. It didn't like pit, like make any any noise, so I didn't think to look up. Twelve push-ups, but thank you so much, uh, well, and thank you Tara for noticing so that I could um give a proper welcome. No worries, Rob. Um, yeah, thank you so much for the follow. I hope you enjoy your time here. My name officially is uh, Victoria. You can call me Tori, Victoria, V, whatever you want. Most people call me V because it's the fastest thing to type. <laughs> but if, um, I can call you Lulu or I can call you Cody or I can call you whatever you want. Yeah, I do three push-ups for every follow and that's my fourth follow for this stream. So, All right, to the sky pillar. That's not what I meant to do. That's not what I meant to do. Hey, Z Fruit, how you doing? I am, I have, so this is not a Nuzlocke. Um, I'm doing Nuzlocke in the, um, my Nuzlocks are scheduled to be early summer. Oh, thank you so much for the follow special effects. That one came through for me. Um, I have a Nuzlocke planned for early summer and probably like late summer or early fall. Gotta type fast. But how you doing, Z Fruit? Good to see you. My government name is Zachary. Thank you so much for that follow special effects. I hope you have a good time here. Um, okay, to the tower. Oh, I gotta go all the way through Pacific Log, don't I? Darn it. Okay. Yeah, there's, uh, I have two Nuzlocke's planned for this year. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep. I'm nervous to Nuzlocke in front of an audience. <laughs> You're okay? Oh. Okay, um... They're both gonna be joint Nuzlocke's, by the way. So, it won't just be me. I'm throwing my whole heart into this! Okay. Thank you, Terror. Um, I don't know if I'm ever going to do a randomized. I'm already not a Nuzlocker. And I'm doing some Nuzlocks, so I don't know if I would ever throw in the element of randomizing. That just seems like torture. Oh, excuse my yawn. That was terrible, Petra. I should have just stuck to fly. Yeah, you love disc. Same. <laughs> this sprite can be a bean. Ah, <laughs> oh, dang. This love disc. Thank you. Bye, 
Bye, Zach. Thank you for being here again. See you next time. Have been going duck face. Uh, well, I don't do the push-ups on camera anyway. I do those after I finish up my stream. When I was completing Pokedex to get a Johto starter to use for the Frontier, I came across a shiny, shiny Taylo. My second shiny ever. It's nearly impossible to shiny hunt an emerald, so I was pretty lucky to say the least. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Check out this sculpted body. I'm more cut than a black belt. Okay. I'm looking at something real quick. Yeah, I do them. What is the highest level in the Pokemon League? 58. Okay. So I'll definitely make sure that I have everything up to probably at least 58. Did I run into Swimmer Rob? Triathlete Rob? I don't remember. I think I did. I think I ran into a bird keeper, Rob. I think I remember doing that. Isn't there a bird keeper, Rob? I didn't run into any hex maniac terrors, though, unfortunately. Giga Drain. What are you using to check this information? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I... You can't see it because green screen, but it's the Prima's official um, strategy guide. I collect the strategy guides mostly just to have the collection. Um, I usually don't use them at all for my first playthrough, um, but since this is a game I'm pretty familiar with, I'm just checking stats at this point um, to kind of help me save time on like figuring out you know so I, I'll look at um, you know like uh, gym leaders elite four um, like teams um, and levels uh, primarily um, just so I can kind of plan better oh that's fine enjoy your lurk we'll see you soon anyway you're so cut Rob you should brag boy Yeah, I, I try to collect, um, when I pre-order Pokemon games now, I usually pre-order um, a, a strategy guide so that I have them all in one go. Um, there are a few strategy guides I don't have. I obviously, I don't have as many strategy guides as I do games, um, but I try to collect the strategy guides for any games, that, any of the Pokemon games that I can find that aren't, like, ridiculous expensive, because some of them now are, like, collector's editions. Like, I don't have any strategy guides for, like, Gen 1 because they're like collector's editions now and I'd have to pay like a hundred bucks for those. Yeah, Summer, I did, I'm pretty sure. Um, I believe there's one, I, I believe they've been making them since Gen 1. I know I have a Fire Red and Leaf Green one. Um, I don't have any for Gen 1 or Gen 2. I think Gen 3 is the earliest that I have. But I have one for Fire Red and Leaf Green. Um, and all of that. Dark Soul Strat Guide. <laughs> Dark Souls looks incredibly difficult and that and like I would rage quit within like 15 minutes. <laughs> I've rage quit Zelda games, okay? I'm pretty sure I would rage quit <laughs> Dark Souls. How do I get down there? I'm 
I'm probably gonna go all the way to Pacific Log and then double back to the Sky Pillar so that it'll be registered on my flight map. Yes. Is it ridiculous? Is it like this thick? <laughs> yeah, it makes you, yeah, it makes you stressed. And kind of the same page. I don't think I would ever want to play it myself, but I'm fine like watching people play it. Oh, it's a beautiful book. Okay. Pacific log. It's Pacific log. Pacific log. Oh. Why are you owing me? Sorry. I know that you had said the other day on your stream that you say Pacific log weird, but it's Pacific log, right? Pacific dog. <laughs> Pacific log. It's a strange one, but there it is. I'm sorry this is so boring. Oh, hey, Stuart. No, it's not reading. I probably won't read until Monday. Um, but hi, how are you? How are you doing? Happy Friday. It's not 3 a.m. for you, so that's cool. I'm going down here. Whoops. Any remaster strategy guidebooks? What do you mean by that? If you mean like the remake games, I do have like, I have the, like I have the fire red and leaf green strategy guides. I have a heart gold soul silver strategy guide. I have um, omega ruby alpha sapphire strategy guides. But if you mean something different, please let me know. Oh, are you talking? Oh, you may have been talking to Terra. Oh my goodness, Stuart, that's terrible. I'm sorry to read that. I hope that the snow clears up for you soon. I'm probably only going for a max of 15 more minutes. Because Paige is going to stream in 30 minutes. And I need to eat some lunch before I get ready for work. You're sick. You still got to work. I'm doing okay. I'm doing all right. <clears throat> 200 hours? Whoa! I don't know if I've put, like, wow. That's okay, Paige. Hurry, hurry. Just kidding. We're not rushing you, but I'll be done. I, I promise I'll be done before you your scheduled time to go live. Oh, you played it through a few times. You're trying to get every achievement. Okay, that's fair. Am I going the right way? I don't even know. It is a lot, Wade. I don't know if I'm going to make it all the way to Pacific Log, but we'll see. Especially because I'm trying to get all of this, uh, cheap experience. So if you do earthquake in the middle of the ocean, does that make this a typhoon? Does 
to change your attack to Typhoon. What? So you need to get one last achievement and then you'll get both achievements? What is the achievement you're missing? I want these. I'm in the middle of a triathlon, but sure, why don't we battle? Okay. Yeah, because I want to get all this experience, I don't think I'm going to make it all the way to Pacific Log. All the boss-made weapons. Oh, excuse me, I yawn again. Did this triathlete literally have the same exact team as the last Pokemon trainer that I battled, or am I going insane? Am I having deja vu right now? Is that what this is? Is this deja vu? Oh! Thank you for the host, even though I'm almost done! <laughs> Yay for Chick fil A! There's two peoples down here. Oh, why'd you have to unhost and host? Let's take it slow and easy. Okay. I don't know if I've ever put 200 hours into one playthrough of something. Like, I'm sure I've put a thousand hours total into Pokemon as a collective franchise, but I can't say I've ever put 200 hours into one like, playthrough of something. Not that I can remember anyway. Oh, you had to unhost to edit your stream title? Oh. Oh, okay. put so much time into Skyrim, you got the Platinum Trophy and all the DLC done. Wow. Um, not great time matchup type matchup, but it is one it is. Holy cow! 276 hours into Rocket League? Also, welcome for steving, Terror. Oh, okay. 
I'm sure you were. Because <laughs> you're so much older than me. You're 44 after all. I didn't expect to see a, a trainer out here in the sea. There's literally like 12 others right here, man. <gasps> what? Was that, was that a two month resub? Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Brit. I appreciate that so much. Yes, thank you so much for that continued support. It really means a lot. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm sorry that my bot can't be on. I was thinking about bumping one level down the quality of my stream in order to be able to do Elgato streams and keep my bot open. I think that's what I might do for next time. Just until I get a new computer. Thank you so much, Britt. That means so much. I'm so glad that you enjoy them. I'm just, you know, I try to just keep it enjoyable for everybody. And so the fact that you enjoy them means a lot. Um, makes me feel good. Thank you so much for that support. And with that, I think I'm actually going to save here. We'll continue moving west. When I come back, we've hit 40 hours. <sighs> Alright guys, thank you so much for everything, um, thank you so much for your continued support, thank you so much for being here, um, if you guys want to join me at uh, Rooftop Songs stream in about 20 minutes or so whenever she gets to go live, um, I'll see you there, um, I'm gonna get some lunch and everything before I have to start getting ready for work and head that way, um, and if everybody, if anybody who's going to, um, Oxel stream uh, this afternoon will give her my regards and tell her that I'm sorry I have to be at work, but <laughs> Brit, thank you so much oh my gosh thank you so much I can't say thank you enough um, I just really appreciate it I'm going to sit here on my green grass island Thank you so much for that. I just appreciate it so much. That's insane of you. Thank you. Um, yeah, if you'll, if you guys will give Oxel my best, but I'll see you in a few minutes in Paige's stream. Thank you so much again for being here, everybody. I'll see you all soon. Um, I'm going to try to figure out my Elgato issues a little bit too, and uh, hopefully I'll see you again soon. Um, most likely Monday, uh, Monday morning, Monday early afternoon is when I'll see you again. So uh, have a good one. Um, Pray for me this weekend as I go into work. And with that being said, much love from me to you. Please take care of all of yourselves, and I'll see you soon. Bye.